only mode. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chuck Williams, Diamond Global Power Affiliate with the Shopping Sherlock. You are in for one of the most exciting presentations we've ever had. And the reason is the Sherlock is catching major momentum around the world. You're going to hear from affiliates who are building their Shopping Sherlock business. And we're going to start out tonight's presentation going through some product saving stories and just some things that people are excited about. And then I'm going to quickly cover the product and the compensation plan with you. And then we'll close with how to get started. It's not going to last long. It's going to be good. Fasten your seatbelt. Here we go. We're going to go up to the northeast, and we're going to talk to uh, Doug Johnson. Doug is a power affiliate with our company. And uh, Doug, share uh, one of your favorite product saving stories, please. How you doing, Chuck? Awesome, buddy. Great. Um, my story is uh, I had a, some ball joints I needed on my vehicle. And uh, price them out. A lot of local shops around here, some of the bigger online stores, and uh, as close as I could find was six hundred dollars. And I went on the Sherlock. I found everything I needed for a hundred and forty shipped to me. So that's a huge savings. That's almost full over five hundred dollars in savings. I was getting ready to put out. Fantastic, Doug. That's a great story. Now we're going to go up to Chicago. Uh, Pam Benjamin is going to share with us a product saving story. Actually, I think she's got a couple for us tonight. Yes, I do. Um, actually, it's just to give an illustration of just how versatile the Sherlock is, um, I had a friend who was looking to replace her uh, Honda Odyssey minivan in 1997. They were looking for a late model, but weren't having a whole lot of luck finding it on their own. Uh, so I offered to put it through my Sherlock for them. And within a matter of 20 minutes or so, I had found them four different options all across the country for a used minivan that met the, the criteria that they were looking for, including the color. And they ended up uh, purchasing one, I believe it was from El Paso, Texas. And uh, they are just really, really happy. Um, as far as a personal uh, story for myself, and on a smaller scale, uh, there's a calcium complex that I order on a regular basis and I decided that rather than go ahead and order it through the website that I had identified that had really, really competitive prices, I decided to put it through the Sherlock. And lo and behold, I should not have been surprised. It saved me an additional 14% on something that I purchase on a regular basis. So everybody, it doesn't matter what you might be needing. Put it through the Sherlock. You're sure to be saving significant amounts of money, whether it's big or small. Pam, you might have said it, but I missed it. How much did you help that uh, friend of yours save on that vehicle they purchased? Uh, $1,500. $1,500. So, ladies and gentlemen, with two testimonials here, with just a couple examples, we're up over $2,000 in savings. Friends, don't let friends pay retail. Thank you, Pam. Now we're going to go to Michigan, and uh, we're going to talk to Farmer John. Farmer John, share one of your savings stories, please. Yeah, I guess I'm back in the auto parts business with the first uh, gentleman there. I uh, had a friend uh, come over looking for a, a radiator for a uh, 1955 Ford Fairlane, and he says, uh, can you help me find this? I said, sure. Do you want to pay the uh, full retail, or do you want me to find you a bargain? He said, well, of course I want, to find you, want me to find you a bargain. Come on. So uh, he gave me the part number, and I I'd, uh, put it in the Sherlock, and... Most of the places uh, in Google want 250 to 400 dollars for the radiator. I found him one for 173 dollars, and the best news was it was local right here in Detroit. He liked that part even better because he likes to do business in Michigan. So uh, we uh, love to, to use the Sherlock, and we really like it when we can find something local and, and get a really good deal on it. How Thanks, much? Jeff. How much were you able to save, Farmer John? About 78 dollars uh, minimum. Uh, Seventy-eight to uh, about one hundred and fifty bucks on that. On that one item, fantastic, fantastic. All right, we're going to go way out to Los Angeles. We've got uh, attorney by profession, but Sherlock by uh, choice. And Jasmine Kim, please share your saving story with us. Hello, Chuck. My my saving story is. Uh... I actually was looking for some Nike running shoes and uh, used the Sherlock and I was able to uh, find the ex uh, shoes that I really wanted to get and uh, saved about $50. Ended up being, it was over $100 and it ended up being about 65 by the time uh, I was able to uh, locate this particular item and it was just a great saving story. And 
And then I have another one where I was, I've, I've been looking for a, a hair dryer and a curling iron, but these are more high-end, meaning salon style uh, type products. And uh, I used a Sherlock and I was able to find significant, um, you know, reductions and, and discounts uh, for those quality, quality products. Do you happen to remember how much you saved on those items, Kim? Um, I, I think I saved about fifty dollars on the on the running shoes, and then um, with the uh, with the hair dryer and the curling iron, I'd have to say uh, maybe combined about a hundred dollars. Fantastic. So just a couple examples here from each person, and they have many, many more they could share. We're up to over twenty two hundred dollars in savings. Uh, you also want to share a little bit about why an attorney would uh, be doing something like this. You want to share that real quick? Sure. Uh, as an attorney, I, I, I get paid on an hourly basis, so whatever I do from a work standpoint, services-wise, I get paid on a, on a per-hour basis. And so how, however, much money I, however much time I spend on a particular client's case, that's how much I get paid, ideally, if, if I do get paid. Uh, and most of the time I do. But in this situation with the Sherlock and with internet, this particular internet type of business, I really like the idea of residual income. And I think that it is such an attractive um, source of income where we can really passively uh, receive income without necessarily um, what a, working on a, on, a, on a consistent basis. What I mean by that is that while I'm sleeping, I can still be making money. And I think that is so attractive, and it's quite attractive to my attorney friends as well. Uh, I think we're all kind of tired of, of the long hours and the, and the, um, the rigors that come with, uh, with the practice of law. And you give away a lot of shows using social media, don't you? Absolutely. Um, social media and on also other ways of just trying to market online to give away the Sherlock. I think that's a, that's a really um, useful tool to try to learn how to maybe advertise on the Internet to uh, tell people how wonderful this uh, application really is and, 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 and just use it on a daily basis for everything they purchase. Fantastic. Thank you, Jasmine. Great job. Now we're going to go here in St. Louis, where I'm from. Good friend of mine, Curtis uh, Bernard, is going to share a couple of his savings stories with us. Yes, yeah, Chuck, uh, thank you. Uh, we, you know, a lot of our savings stories come from product, but this particular one, we were traveling out of town with my son uh, for his uh, college football, and we normally stay at a particular hotel, and the rates are about $119, but this time I said, you know, let me try the travel function on the actual Sherlock, and I wound up sell, finding the exact same hotel brand for uh, $69, and that included breakfast for two through the uh, daily deals. So we saved about $50 just by, you know, actually utilizing the tool that, you know, we've all come to love. Fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're keeping track like I am, we're up to about $2,250. And, Curtis, is that the only thing you save money on, sir? No, no, not at all. Actually, you know, we're talking about football, and, you know, he needs cleats <laughs> for the football, and we were searching for a pair of uh, Under Armour, so I went to the local uh, sporting goods store, and I found them for $99, and uh, that was a great deal at the time, but then we put it through the Sherlock before we made the purchase, and we ended up finding the same pair for $33, which was three pair for $99, so we bought a home and away pair, and we actually sent a pair to his nephew, so... Uh, again, it, the, the savings just don't ever stop. So, Fantastic. So just on those shoes alone, how much more did you save on that testimony? Yeah, on the shoes, we saved at least about, uh, we would have been $200 more if we'd have bought all three at $99. So we saved another $200. So we're up close to $2,500, and we could go on and on, but we're not going to. We're going to go to Karen Parsons up in Delaware. Karen is building a huge international business using a LinkedIn lead generation system training that we use. And uh, Karen, tell us one of your saving stories. They talk about the money that they and I do every day. But the other thing that I think is really neat is the time that we save. It used to take me hours to look for things and try to find the best price, but now I find Karen, you're breaking up a little bit. I'm going to come back to Karen in just a minute. You might want to try to adjust your microphone there. We're going to go to David Brewer. David's got a phenomenal story. I'm looking forward to you hearing from David. David Brewer. Uh, yes, hello everybody. I'm David Brewer. Uh, served 35 years in the United States Navy and retired as an admiral. So 
So people say, why is an animal in, in uh, shopping Sherlock? Uh, I'm using it mainly to help people because I feel that the savings alone will save uh, the average family, of course, 150 to 300 bucks. And when you do all the research, you find out a lot of people are about $150 a month uh, away from bankruptcy. Uh, I have a couple of great saving stories. Uh, we have a great organization in the Philippines. We're out there working hard to build an organization in the Philippines. And so my downline and I, Tom Carnegie, went out to the Philippines, and uh, we've already put five people in out there. Uh, so when we got back, we said, look, <clears throat> let's go to the Sherlock and go back into the cash back session, section and, and try Expedia, because Expedia's got this cash back of 0.49%. So we were, we paid about twenty two hundred bucks for uh, about almost twenty five hundred bucks for airfare and hotel for about four days. When we went to the Sherlock, we got the same deal for fifteen hundred bucks, a thousand dollars savings plus twenty two dollars in cash back. So we said, wait a minute, we got to use the Sherlock from now on when we go to the Philippines. And finally, uh, I. Uh, my wife likes a, a, a kind of high-end perfume called Sisley's, S-I-S-L-E-Y. I'm quite sure the ladies know what this is, Eau de Soie. 270 bucks. Sherlock found it for 140 bucks. the savings of 130 bucks. So those are my two stories. Thank you, David. Great job. So if you take into account David's V8 moment, if you've ever seen the V8 commercial, you hit, where the guy hits himself in the head, he says, ah, oh, I could have had a V8. That's what we call the Sherlock moment when you realize what you could have saved. That was over $1,000. So now we're well up over $3,000 in potential savings using the Sherlock. We're going to try to go back to Delaware one more time, see if we can get Karen's microphone working because she has some phenomenal things to share. Karen Parsons, let's try one more time. Can you hear me now okay? Yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Okay. Um, one thing that I used it for recently is I'm part of a ministry called Operation Christmas Child, and recently we needed to order 5,000 toothbrushes to put in children's shoe boxes. They're going to go to needy children all around the world. And I put it in the Sherlock and found several companies that had good prices, and I ended up getting really great quality toothbrushes at less than 20 cents each. When you times that by 5,000, I, I figure otherwise you'd be paying about a dollar a toothbrush. That's a lot of savings. That is phenomenal. In fact, if you do the math of that, how, is 5,000 you need it? Yeah. It, it, we saved over $4,000 versus going to the store. So you've just doubled our savings for the night on these testimonials. And ladies and gentlemen, we're just giving you one or two examples each. All of us have many, 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 many more. And so with the Christmas season coming up, get to the people you know and love and show them how they can save money too. Karen, you're also building an international business and making a little money giving these away, aren't you? Yes. It's been exciting. Well, That's for sure. Keep up the good work. We're very excited about what you're doing. Thank you.